Okay, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to create a quick procedural material that you can customize, change the colors, change the roughness, change the whatever you want basically. And then you can always apply it to other materials. So let's jump into it. Let me show you how to do it. Shift A. Let's go to Mesh. Add a UV sphere. Yeah. Okay, Bring it to like there. Right click, shade smooth. And then just want to add a subdivision surface just to make it a bit smoother okay now let's go to shading cool nice okay let's go here bring this here bring this here okay so tick new then go here let me just bring this a little bit higher so we can see better nice okay then go shift a type in noise and a noise texture put that over there then shift A, type in color, and then add a color ramp. Put that there. Okay, then tap, plug the color into the factor of the color ramp, and then the color of the color ramp into the base color. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Then where it says linear, click here and click constant. Then what you want to do is click here and bring this in. This is something like that. And then click over here. And what you can do is change the color. So if you want to make it like a red, blue, green, you can obviously pick your color. I'm going to go with blue. Now let's go a little bit down, go shift A again, type in bump. Bump, plug the normal into the normal. And then plug this factor of the noise texture into the height of the bump. Okay, it looks a bit funny now, but don't worry. Then what you want to do is bring the roughness all the way up. And then go here to the scale and just play around with this until you find something that looks pretty cool. It looks okay. Bring the detail all the way up, so like 16. That adds that nice kind of roughness to it. You can see the difference if I add 2 and 16. Just makes it look more, more realistic. And you can play around with the roughness so you can make it completely smooth or you can make it super rough but you want something kind of I actually like it kind of in the middle and in the distortion you can see that changes this okay so you can play around with that that looks fine okay and that's basically it you can obviously then adjust this and then you can change this color so if you don't want the black just click there on that over here click here and then all you do is just bring this up and then change this and that's how easy it is just to change the color but you kind of always want something in the middle to balance everything out and then if you want to make it metallic you can do that but then obviously if you want to bring the metallic up you got to bring the roughness down otherwise if you bring this up it doesn't really do much as you can see if you bring the metallic up bring the roughness down and that changes it makes it kind of like a shiny object with the same colors so what i'm going to do is just bring this down bring the roughness up okay so i'll leave a link to this for the patrons in the description if you want to join Check it out.